This is part two of a tutorial for creating box plots in R using data from the Centers for Disease Control. In part one of this tutorial, <coughs> we created uh, this box plot. Um, and uh, what we're going to accomplish in this part of the two, in part two of the tutorial, is to create uh, box plots for both smokers and non smokers. Again, this assumes that you have already created uh, subsets of smokers and non smokers and the BMI variable for both smokers and non smokers. The uh, <coughs> basic trick here, and I'm going to use um, exactly, mostly what I had used before, um, this do box plot will not have a color in it at the moment, but it will have uh, the title already and it'll be horizontal, it will set the, uh, uh, the uh, axis down here to run from 10 to 80. Um, but the key difference here uh, is specifying a second variable, in this case the smoke 100 variable that's for smokers and non-smokers, and uh, there's a tilde in between there that is saying, sorry, plot, do, uh, create a box plot of body mass index broken down uh, one for uh, uh, every value of this variable smoke 100. <clears throat> now I know the variable takes on a value of either 0 or 1, 0 for non-smokers and 1 for smokers. So uh, let me go ahead and grab that and run it. And so you can see I already have uh, some good things happening here. The title's here, the body, or the X lab is there. I have the scale already running from 10 to 80. I have the non-smoker and the smoker box plots. Um, <clears throat> and uh, again, from this point on, it's a matter of making these things look, making this look better. And uh, the first thing that uh, you'll notice is that the title um, extends beyond the plot frame. And uh, in order to in order to change that, I'm going to show you a trick for putting a title on two lines. And uh, the only thing that we've done <coughs> differently is uh, uh, for the main option, typically it would be main is equal to, and then in quotation marks, the title. Here, we're saying main is equal to the paste function, and then in parentheses there, we have uh, the first part of the title in quotation marks, followed by a comma. Then this backslash n, which forces a new line, comma, and then uh, uh, the second part of the title by body mass index. Okay, so that's the that's an important trick to learn. Sometimes the titles you want to use will require more than one line, and you'll want to use this main equals paste option. It's a very convenient, easy way to do that. You could add a, a third line by adding another backslash, you know, comma backslash n, followed by the third part of the title there. But uh, we'll leave it at this, and uh, I'll go ahead and run that and you see uh, that it accomplished exactly what we wanted it to. Now, <clears throat> the next uh, step that I'd like to do is to help you understand that sometimes you'll want to reorder um, the, way, the default way that these uh, uh, distributions are presented. Um, in this case, what I want to do is put smokers on the bottom because the, they have a slightly higher median body mass index and the distribution is, is pulled a little bit more towards the uh, right. And so I really want to do is just flip these two so it would be, you know, from top to bottom, you know, if I had like five of these from top to bottom, it would be in increasing order. That's uh, one way that I could do this. And in this case, you know, like I said, I want to show you a trick for how you would change the default order of these. And uh, the way to do this, uh, first, I'm going to create a variable called, a new variable called smoke. 
that uh, simply reverses the order. Now the order is 0 and 1 right now for non-smokers and smokers. So I'm going to create a new variable called smoke that's an ordered variable from this smoke 100 thing, but I'm going to reverse the order. Um, that's all that says, so I'll run that. And uh, I have a new variable now. I actually had it there before. And now I'm going to redo the entire box plot that I just did, but instead of CDC smoke 100, I'm going to replace it with this new variable smoke. Okay? And you can see all that's happened is that it's flipped the order. The smokers are now on the bottom and non-smokers are on the top and you can see the difference. That's all that's happened between those two. Okay? Now I have those two boxes. I can add colors to the boxes. I'm going to add two, uh, different colors in this case. And notice that with color command I have to specify the order. So the first color is going to be pink and the second color is going to be a light blue. I want to add labels. So instead of saying 0, 1, it says smokers and non-smokers. And I do that with the names equal uh, option. Again, in order, smokers and non-smokers. Okay? Uh, another trick I want to do is to make these these labels horizontal, and uh, you use, in order to do that you use this LAS option, and there are four different orientations um, or four different ways you can do this. But uh, um, this is the LAS equals one is going to change these so they are horizontal, but leave these uh, the way they are. So I'll highlight all of that and run it. And you can see that I've now um, reoriented those uh, labels. Now one last important trick. So there are really two um, important tricks in here. One is flipping the order. Another one is uh, um, how to uh, a, or a, a second one is uh, the title. And a third one is uh, since these labels don't fit here, I want to make sure that those labels are within the, the, the frame. And uh, in order to do this, I actually have to change the margins for the graph. And uh, um, the first step, all was the first step. There are some functions, some graphical parameters that you can change only with this par command. And so what I want to do first is remember my current param my current graphical parameter settings. So I'm going to create a new value called OPAR or for original graphical parameter settings. And I'm going to make that equal to what, it, what they currently are. So I'll run that. And then you can see there are 72 graphical parameters that are set in there. Um, my next... Uh, thing then is going to uh, use the par command to change the options. Again, you won't see anything here, but I'm going to change the options to 5, 7, 4, and 2. The 5, the 4, and the 2 are all defaults. Um, I'm changing the default value for the left margin here from 5 to 7. Okay, so I'll run that, and you again, you won't see anything there, but now I'm going to run exactly the same box plot command as I did above. Um, there's no change there. It's exactly the same. And uh, you can see that this has just shifted over. It, it's changed the margin over here so I can see the entire labels. Um, to add points, um, uh, again, since smokers are on the bottom, I'll take the uh, mean for BMI for smokers, and it's in the first position down here. Uh, and then the, the, the second one, the second uh, uh, box plot here is for non-smokers, so it's the mean for uh, uh, BMI for non-smokers, and it's at uh, position 2 on this, uh, on this axis. So I'll highlight both of those, 
and run that and I have both of those uh, means set. Now the last thing once I'm done with that I want to reset my original parameter settings and you do that by saying par and this is why we created this original you know a variable containing the original graphical parameter settings so par and then in parentheses o par and it will reset those. Anyway that is how you create um, in, uh, uh, a, a box plot for different levels of a factor and uh, we've uh, done some tricks here with uh, 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 two level or a split title with changing the uh, margins and uh, um, uh, you'll you should be able to do this uh, for any uh, any factor now you should be able to create uh, box plots that look uh, that are presentable.